Okay, so this is just a brief look at some of the uh, changes to Chrome OS um, for um, Chrome 34. So the school um, Chromebooks will be updating to Chrome 34 over the next uh, week or two. And um, there's a few important things that you can uh, do which previously you couldn't do. So first on handling windows, so obviously I've got a, a window here. If you move it to the side, a bit like in Windows 7 and 8, it will go half a screen size. If I fire up something else, just another Google search, I can grab hold of that and drag it onto the other side of the screen. So I've got two equal size windows which I'm working with. One thing to remember is that you can launch apps which you've got pinned to the launcher as a window. So I've got this one open as a window. This is Pixel R. So it will open up in its own window automatically as if it were sort of a local application. The other thing that you can do is um, anchor certain applications. So things like the calculator for example. Um, you can anchor onto the side panel here so it'll sit and create this sort of side area. So if I maximize that window by double clicking on the top of the window then it doesn't cover over the calculator so you can have the calculator there and this window as well. Which is a nice little feature. If you close it then it recognizes that that was pinned onto the size and maximizes the other window. So that's one nice little feature. Um, Another thing is that I've noticed um, we've got this app added by default called Get Help. And if you fire up Get Help, it'll tell you all about how to use your Chromebooks. It's not a bad thing to look at if you want to find out how to do a particular thing. Um, and if you click on New to Chromebook, um, a couple of useful things Chromepad Touchpad Tips, if you click on that you'll see that you've got all the um, touchpad gestures that you can do and underneath that you've got um, keyboard shortcuts so there's lots and lots of keyboard shortcuts for doing all sorts of things so it's worthwhile having a look at some of those yeah, it's got every single keyboard shortcut there um, you might notice that the Chromebook keyboard doesn't have caps lock on but if you want to use caps lock you can so you can change how keys behave um, so you want to find out about that and um, if you want to know what all those buttons across the top do then it tells you what all of those buttons across the top do as well um, and it also has a load of stuff about how to do other things as well, some of which are not relevant to school, but it's a really quite useful thing to um, have there. The other thing that you can do, this is not actually new to 34, but your apps that you've got here, you can move them around and organise them if you don't like the order that they're in by default. So just a couple of things that you uh, might want to have a play around with. Um, if your Chromebook's not up to date, all you have to do is go to Settings, which are here, by clicking on those three lines up in the top corner here, then click on Help, and then it will tell you whether your device is up to date, or if it isn't up to date, it should automatically update, and if it doesn't do that instantly, and it's not already on 34, then... Um, just try it again the next day. Our Chromebooks are set to update on a schedule, so they might not all update instantly. Okay, so thank you for watching. Um, hope you found it useful.